Greetings and thank you for this time and this opportunity to come to you and spend a few moments in the Word of God. This week we've been talking about healing after abuse or trauma and just bringing us a few insights from the Word of God that can be of help to us. It's very strange and yet it's very true that a person who's gone through abuse or trauma, if they are not careful, could easily tend to go back to situations, either the same past situation or similar situations. And that's very unfortunate. And something that is not repaired, it will often be repeated. And so sometimes while the process of repairing is going on, the process of healing is still taking place, the person who's gone through abuse or trauma has the tendency of repeating or falling back into the same mistake. Maybe going back to the same person who previously was their abuser or going back into situations that made them, made them vulnerable to the hurt or the trauma or the abuse. And so it's very important for us to remind ourselves not to go back. In Psalm 85, verse 18, the psalmist said, I will hear what God the Lord will speak, for he will speak peace to his people and to his saints, but let them not turn back to folly or foolishness. So the psalmist is saying, you know, I'm going to intentionally listen to God because God is going to speak peace. He's going to speak wholeness into my life. But I must not go back to foolishness. So while we are journeying into wholeness, while looking to God and receiving His word that brings us wholeness, one of the things we must determine is not to go back to foolishness, not to go back to any of the past things that actually exposed us to that abuse or in some cases the trauma that we went through. So. You must purpose in your heart, I'm not going back, but I'm choosing to listen to God and God alone because He will speak wholeness, peace, shalom into my life. One of the areas we have to be very careful is not to revisit the past mentally. While it's important not to revisit physically, obviously, we must be careful not to revisit things mentally. Don't let your mind take you back in the past. That's where you need to purposely repaint pictures on the canvas of your inner imagination. Paint pictures of who you are in Christ. Paint pictures of what God is speaking to you. Paint pictures of the wholeness that is available to you through the cross of Jesus so that you don't go back even mentally to the past. And God will bring healing to us through His Word. Let's pray. Father, we ask for your empowering, Lord, not to go back, never to turn back or look back, but to look to you because you speak peace, you speak wholeness into our lives and help us to receive what you speak to us in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.